back to the channel. I'm Tia. And I'm Evan. And this is Reacting to the Internet. Internet. All right, guys. We know why we're here. You know why you're here. You saw the title. You clicked on the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and get into it. Today, we are going to be reacting to a video by Misty. It's titled, Steve Harvey's Real Kids Bring Evidence to Reveal How Marjorie, Marjorie Made Him Choose Her Over Them. That's one hell of a title. Um, I'm what? Ahead, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. I'm not a Steve Harvey fan. Um, I think after Kings of Comedy is when I was just like really not messing with him. Like he was cool on there, but I'm not a Steve Harvey. So you didn't watch the Steve Harvey show? I I did not. Oh, I did. You did? I seen clips here and there, but it was actually very funny. I think Steve Harvey at one point in his career, like in his earlier days, I think when he was married to his second wife mary i want to say i think that was her name i don't know if she was like writing his stuff or what she was doing but he was actually hella funny not sure what happened there but um let's go ahead and get into this reaction guys Y'all, the Steve Harvey drama just got even more insane because his biological kids just exposed him for being a deadbeat. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16, right? Things have been very rough for Mr. Steve Harvey in the past couple of weeks, but it turns out that the rumors of Marjorie cheating on him weren't the worst of it. His four biological kids are now speaking up and exposing Marjorie for forcing Steve to choose her over his own kids. And this is why Steve has been a deadbeat father to them. Now there is a lot Steve, to unpack in this whole there. drama, but y'all- mm. First of all, nobody can make you choose them over your children. Like, nobody can do that. That was all Steve. Mm. He chose to chase after this woman and to put her on the pedestal or whatever it is that he did. Do you. But um, she she didn't make him do anything. I agree with that. Nothing. That's just some, some trash behavior. And this is the man that be out here giving y'all relationship advice. Please, let's get back into it. <laughs> Were you serious about that? I won't believe the receipts that they brought. One night in Memphis, when me and Marjorie first got together, we brought all the kids together, all seven of them. And all the girls went bowling and came back and decided uh, they didn't want us to get married and said they don't think it's the right thing to do. I swear every single time that we think we have heard the last drama about Steve Harvey and his messy situation going on with his family, something else comes up to show us that the family is even more messed up than we knew. And with these recent allegations that have come to light regarding the way he treated his own biological kids, listen, let's just say that they're not going to be nominating him for a Father of the Year award anytime soon, or ever for that matter. But according to an insider, the drama going on in the Harvey family isn't just a messy fight over money or an inheritance or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure that the money also plays a large role in the drama, but the insider claims that the real issue here is that Steve's four biological children have felt unloved by Steve for years while they watched him pour all of his love into Marjorie and her kids. Now, people have always talked about how admirable it was that Steve chose to love Marjorie's kids like they were his own kids, but it turns out that his biological kids feel like he loves Marjorie's kids like they are his only kids. And it's easy to see why they would feel this way because because Steve really does act like Marjorie's kids are his only kids that he's ever had. Now, this has caused a lot of issues between. First of all, this Misty person is hilarious, okay? Her commentary <laughs> is the best. The voice changes, I love it. I'm here for it. And yes, I, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you guys. Until this video, I didn't even know Steve Harvey had other kids. I didn't know. No, oh, damn, so maybe. I had no idea. I knew he had kids. I, I knew Lori. The twins. Uh, I didn't know. Girl. I didn't know about any of these people. <laughs> I didn't know. I knew that Lori was not his child. I knew that. Um, and that's that's why I thought it was just the one. I oh, really no. did. I thought it was they just They never hang out with each other either. Let me think of it. Lori and Steve. Lori's kids and Steve's kids. Oh, no. I mean, Lori, Harvey, and Steve's oh, kids. Oh, no. Lori, Lori and Harvey is the it girl. Oh, she got his last name, right? Mm -hmm. She's the it girl. She oh, that's why she in the limelight. Like, yeah. Beauty. She's very beautiful. A very beautiful girl. But, um, yeah, I didn't know this, guys. I can learn something new every day. <laughs> Let's get back into it. 
Steven his children, but especially because he treated his own kids like crap. And I'm not just talking about like abandonment. Well, he did abandon them, but the ones who were only abandoned were lucky ones because his second son, Winton, was not abandoned by Steve, and he had it way worse than the three kids who got abandoned. Steve was married twice before he oh, married to Marjorie, and both marriages were a disaster. His first wife was Marsha Harvey, and she is the mother of his first three kids, Brandy, Carly, and Broderick. Steve started pursuing his second wife, Mary, when Broderick was still a toddler, but he didn't tell Mary that he was a married man. He was already an absentee father in the lives of his first three kids when he divorced their mom and got married to Mary. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but Mary was the one who helped Steve build his comedy career. She literally put in all her life savings into helping him set up his comedy career so that he could make more money. He was still struggling at that point, and it was when he was performing at a comedy club where Marjorie was in attendance. Steve spied That's Marjorie out in the crowd, and he immediately... Hmm, why are all these women names starts with the M? Marianne, Marjorie, Mary. Ooh. What is... What, what, what the hell? How would you know this dude? You would know this thing, huh? Yes. All of them. Names start with the M. This is their name starts with the M. Is, uh, his woman that his woman that paid for pimping trying to holler at another woman. That's it. Remember mama called her and her a hoe? She, she a mama, 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 she a hoe. She a hoe. <laughs> So Steve Harvey was married to his first wife, his very first wife, had three kids, didn't even know he had three kids, had three kids with her, mm -hmm. then when the, the third child was the youngest, that didn't even make sense, so when the, the, third, child the was, third child was probably born, or shortly after that, he then pursued this married woman, his second wife, this is the wife that I knew about, so I didn't even know Steve was married before he before Mary. I thought he Mary married was Mary to get with Marjorie. He did. I didn't know that he had a first wife though. That he left her. That he left him. her for Mary, and then left Mary for Marjorie, and probably gonna leave Marjorie for <laughs> Marissa. Okay. And he leave Marissa Martha for Martha. <laughs> and it just goes on. If your name starts with the yeah, Martha for Margaret. I just feel like it just goes on and on and you know down the line. Oh. Now he did that second wife wrong, bro. Ain't no way. I mean, I don't know. I mean, oh, hopefully she got half of everything. Oh, well, real. Hopefully. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how. To she got that kid by when you get it by eighteen years. Eighteen years. She got one of your kids got you for eighteen years. But that's. I don't know. That's kind of messed up, man. You gonna cheat on a woman? I get it, like, relationships don't always last, but now we gonna cheat on her to get with Marjorie. I mean, Marjorie is fine. Yeah, she's fine. But, you know, dang, let's get back into it fell in love with her. He tried to make some moves on her, but she turned him down because he wasn't rich enough for her. Oh, and they were both married at the time, but I don't think that mattered very much to Steve because he even admitted that he had cheated on his first two wives a lot. He said, <laughs> Marjorie changed the way I existed. I'd never been in a healthy adult relationship. I'd never been loyal. I'd never been fully respected. Well, he hit it big in Hollywood, made that's a whole lot of money. That's a right way that. <laughs> They're a voice change. Miss Misty, I, I'm here for I her, just okay? figured, I just realize that she said he, he in his quote he says he's never been loyal to because i've never really been fully respected what so because you feel like he wasn't respected you thought that you should just go cheat instead of just breaking up with these women that's crazy and again you're taking relationship advice from this man maybe he's saying he did some wrong stuff so he can give advice about what's to avoid because he was the bad to avoid. Oh, that is true. That, I can look at it you that know, way. You gotta teach a, uh, um, You gotta go through with a teacher, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I can see that. But, um, take his his advice with a grain of salt. I don't know about that. I mean, that I don't even think that's marriage advice. That's just bad character. You abandon your children? What? Yeah. That's just, you cheat? It's just bad character. Got some character. He really do. I'm not saying that his relationship advice isn't good, but mm -hmm. I don't know about Let's that. Let's get into it. Let's get back into it.
and ended up dumping Mary. Surprise, surprise. He started dating Marjorie a few months later. He claimed that his bodyguard had been the one who set them up together, saying, uh, <laughs> he told me, look, the only time I've ever seen you happy was when you were with that woman Marjorie. Now, before you go and do something stupid and marry another woman, I'm calling her. It was like being reborn. I messed up so many times in my life. She made all the difference. When you're happy at home, you can make a lot of things happen. And while he was out here playing love a boy with Marjorie, he basically oh, ignored his part. So many times in my life I've messed up. When you're happy at home, you're happy in the streets. <laughs> Wait a minute, so how did the bodyguard have Marjorie's number? So they, they say, he said, she said they talked for a little bit, but they never, we would never went any further after they could. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, let's get back into it. First three kids, and it got really bad. In fact, there are reports that he didn't even attend the high school graduation of his twins. Someone who knew the twins in high school made this revelation saying, I went to school with the twins. They were a few years ahead of me, but people always talked and all eyes were on them because of who their father was. He wasn't present at their graduation. Now, y'all, I don't know the circumstances, but that is really, really sad. But that's not all. According to Broderick, Steve was also absent from his life for his first 16 years. I didn't really have my dad full time into my life until I was 16. Right? Yeah, it's very, very sad. But as bad as that is, the kids who were ignored kinda had it good because he didn't ignore his son with Winton. And listen, when I tell y'all that Winton had the worst of the first three, if you were wondering why Winton didn't get ignored, well, according to Winton himself, he allegedly believes that it's because Steve was trying to punish his mom by using their son. For those who don't know, Steve's divorce from Mary was messed up. And it looks like he was using Winton to get back at her. According to Mary, Steve used to put his hands on Winton, if y'all know what I mean. And it all started around the time he started dating Marjorie. Now, I'm not saying that Marjorie has something to do with Steve putting hands on his son, but Mary allegedly believes that Marjorie was trying to drive Winton and Steve even further apart. Allegedly, Steve got so abusive towards Winton that the police had to get involved at some point. TMZ even reported it saying, according to the kids, Steve hit him with a belt and then a paddleboard, the kind used for hazing in fraternities. According to the police report, cops took photos of the boy's injuries, awesome. showing bruises on his- He gave his son a whooping? He gave, I mean, he gave his kid a whooping? I mean, okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, they, they say they got reports and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Because y'all know sometimes. Sus. It does. It sounds very sus. Because, you know, sometimes boys be really trying to test their fathers. And, you know, I ain't saying it's right to beat on your kids. But you definitely can't let them punk you out. Can't do that. So I wonder if it was like one of those type situations. I think so. But if it's not that type of situation and Steve is just out here beating on his kid, you dare I can't see why I'm gonna beat on you because your mom knew him, but then I'm with a whole other woman that I yeah. let your mama call. I can't really see that happening. Like no, I can't. He probably went upside the sun head a couple times. I guess he knows his son was probably at that age where yeah. he felt like, I'm the man, I'm the man. You know how you do it? I'm the man, I'm the man. What's the choice now? But, anyways, let's get back into it. <laughs> Blood toxin right thigh, as well as cuts on his leg. The police report says the boy told cops the beating was so brutal he had trouble urinating for days. The case was investigated by CPS, of course, but it was ultimately dropped. So when I say the kids who were ignored had it better, I wasn't joking. Now, I'm not trying to say that Steve doesn't love his children, because he does seem to care about them a lot. But according to Brandy and Carly, Marjorie allegedly made it clear that she had to be Steve's number one priority. And Steve probably took that to mean that she had to come before his kids and was more than happy to do that. And just how did he show her that she was his number one? Well, he decided to love her kids like he didn't love his own. To start with, he adopted all three of her kids and gave them his last name, which didn't make a lot of sense to most people. This is because her first two kids, Morgan and Jason, were already adults at the time. There was no reason for them to be adopted. But Marjorie wanted her kids to have the Harvey name because she, she said adopted. Um, Maybe he just trying to put them on. Yeah, maybe he is trying to put them on, but don't you think that's strange? Like, that's a little weird to me. Like, they're grown. I can understand if they were, you know, young, 15, 16, whatever situation, but grown? What? And how many kids does this woman have? Three. Three kids for her, four kids for him. Damn. There's a lot of kids going around here. <laughs> um, yeah. Sound a little it sounds a little suspect. Like, I can't see myself adopting grown kids. And the only reason why I would do that is to, like you said, open doors for them. Yeah. To give them 
access to stuff. Yeah, I think so. That's the only reason why. All right, let's get back into it. She knew that it would open a lot of doors for them. Plus, she also wanted to distance them from the fact that their fathers were drug dealers. And the Harvey last name was the best way for her to do that. Steve That's didn't stop at giving him mm -hmm. That's what my, can I have some water? That's what my mama said. She had a, uh, it was a guy that was, she dated a drug, a big drug pen or something. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. Yeah, I don't know anything about Marjorie outside of she's beautiful. And she's a fashion queen. And she's a fashion queen. That's it. I she was dating drug pen dudes? Yeah. Wow. You learn something new every day. Yes, so. Wow. Let's get back into it. Last name, because he also gave them preferential treatment. He especially pampered Lori, and they frequently went on dates. He on one of our annual father-daughter dates in my favorite Japanese restaurant. And you just started talking to me about guys, and you just told me that you, you know, always supported me, and you'd always be there for me no matter what, and you loved me. His alleged preferential treatment of Lori and Marjorie's kids generally has caused a big issue in the family, and an insider said he did the right thing adopting Marjorie's kids and loves them like his own. But there's a lot of dissension among the blended Harvey clan. There has unfortunately been some jealousy lingering amongst the siblings over Lori, who's the most famous of all Steve's kids, taking over the spotlight with her high-profile love life. But y'all, it gets really bad when you realize that Steve's daughters begged him not to marry Marjorie. One night in Memphis, when me and Marjorie first got together, we brought all the kids together, all seven of them. And all the girls oh. went bowling and came back and decided that uh, they didn't want us to get married. God damn, seven. That's a lot. That's a lot, guys. All the girls would include his two daughters, mm -hmm. Lori. Mm -hmm. Was it another girl? Oh, yeah, yeah. Steve. I mean, Lori. Lori. I mean, Marjorie's uh, uh, daughter, the daughter, yeah. so it's for all the four girls. All the four girls, and they go, oh, no, y'all shouldn't get married. Hmm, I wonder so why. So maybe like, not just these daughters. I wonder why they said they shouldn't get married. Like, what was the reasoning behind that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let's get back into it. They said they don't think it's the right thing to do. But he didn't listen to them because he was the one paying their bills and didn't think that their opinions mattered. <laughs> y'all ain't got a relationship, a good a job, a career. I'm paying for colleges. I'm, I'm listening to y'all making some decisions. Y'all ain't got one boyfriend that didn't work thus far. <laughs> so I don't know how the hell you finna tell me how to live. My sons was over there cool with it. Yep, it honestly doesn't seem like he likes his kids all that much. So who can blame them for feeling a type of way about Marjorie and her kids? But even though they don't really like Marjorie all that much, they have to take their L's in peace because Steve will have it no other way. Now, we all had a slight idea of what was going on in the Harvey family, but these new revelations are just crazy. Fans left comments saying, wow, so sad. Steve took care of somebody mm. else's children while absent from the lives of his biological kids. I view him through different eyes. Mm. I don't understand how you can turn your back on your seat yeah. and go on to raise someone else's with no real remorse. And funny fact, Steve hates kids that look like him and loves kids that look like Marjorie. Y'all, this is some insane allegations and situations, but I want to know what y'all think about this. Do you think Marjorie is as evil as they're trying to paint her out to be? Or do you think that Steve is to blame no. here? Let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this next video. What you think? Um. Like I said, I don't think Marjorie made this man do anything. I think he saw this very beautiful woman because obviously she's very beautiful. And he went after her and, hey, she may have had her rules. She may have been like, hey, I'm number one, mm. you know, blah, 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 which fine. You know, most women want to be number one. Um, and it is what it is. But again, it was up to Steve to make those choices. And those are the choices that he made. He chose to not his biological kids and the attention and do what he did with Marjorie's kids and etc etc what you think child I think this is all Steve all, I think it's all Steve too I think this is how he is he has a trophy wife he do he want to show her off or he got a trophy daughter and Lori Harvey he want to show her off yeah yeah it's all him. Ain't nobody make you distance yourself from your family. So. Nobody. Like, I don't care who you are. I'm not abandoning my children. My yeah, kids, my own kids. My own kids. Yeah. That's insane. But, um, guys, let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. And until next time. Peace. Peace.